So during a milling machine restoration, I had to make this part right here. Uh, it was bad. It's for the power feed. It has a three-quarter worm. And this is a 16DP 20-tooth worm gear. Now, in looking at the profile, you can see that these teeth are, are slanted. They're not straight across. I was looking on uh, YouTube at videos, and guys are cutting them just like a spur gear, which is not the way to do it because they're not slanted. And I got the idea to take a three-quarter inch wood roof key cutter, grind it to the profile of the gear tooth here, and use that. This is the same diameter as the worm. And I did make a couple dummy pieces, and I finally got the angle correct, and I made the part, and it worked out perfectly. But I saw guys on YouTube saying, that's the way the book tells you. You just take a, a big involute cutter and you grow it straight across. Well, that doesn't make the profile correct on the gear. You can see they're slanted to meet the profile of the worm. So I uh, have a video here to show you how I did that. Starting to make this gear piece here. I've uh, been practicing over here on the mill to get the angle just right. Made some dummy pieces here, and I have it ready to go where it needs to be. Okay, we're getting, cutting the gear teeth now. Then we take the head, index head, move it to, there's 20 teeth and it's 40 to 1. Then we come up till we touch. And then we do 135,000 step. your gear tooth. Looking pretty good. Okay, we got the new gear installed for the power feed, and it works really well. In fact, I think it fits perfectly. 